Welcome back, you guys. This is the Syndra, continuing my Pokemon Platinum Randomized Nuzlocke. And we are, we just finished the Valley Windworks and where we rescued that uh, scientist and uh, his, his daughter was very excited to have her dad back. And, but anyway, we did also catch a cast form, which I named Storm. I think it's my sixth female, no, fifth female Pokemon that I've captured. But uh, we did not have room in the party for our uh, Storm, so I just put her in the box and she is available. If something happens to Asuka, then we can swap her out. But let's run over our team pretty quickly here. We have Tamari the Ninkata with a metronome and a moveset is kind of garbage, but what can you do? Hopefully she will evolve soon. Then we have Asuka with the muscle band. Uh, she's got limber, which I don't know has, if it's been useful so far, but her attack and speed are quite good. With fake out, which is really, really nice, and hypnosis, which is maybe gonna help eventually. And then we have my pride and joy, Misery, the Gibble. With a smooth rock and sand whale and a sand storm attack, which is a nice combo if I ever, you know, to be honest, I'm not sure if that's going to be useful because I can just click Dragon Rage and everything dies. At least for quite a while. But anyway, that's like my panic button. If something goes wrong, we're going to put out Gibble, uh, put out Misery here. But she almost died in the last episode. There was a seal with an icy wind and oh my god, I was so scared. Then we got Peppa, the female Skuntank. And she also has a just garbage moveset. I don't know what uh, Skuntank's moveset is, but so far I'm not impressed. And lastly, I think lastly, no, second lastly, we have Sneeze, our wild plume, who is not gonna learn anything until like level 53. So unless I find some good TMs, this is basically, Mega Drain is gonna be her most powerful move for quite a while. And so far it's working out fine, but if we find a better grass type, I might swap out Sneeze for somebody better. And now lastly, we have Gamabunta, our water, uh, Poliwag, sorry, Poliwag, who is Rast Nature and has Water Absorb, and he's just got, I have Hypnosis on two of my uh, Pokemon here. That might come in handy, but I think it's time that we move on from here. And we're gonna move on to Eterna City, I think? Wait, so uh, this is Route 205. Have I gotten an encounter there? No, I have not. So we might get a new encounter today. Maybe we can get a grass type to replace Sneeze, but who knows, maybe not. Wait, I'm gonna check on my honey really quick because I did put up honey in the tree up here in the, uh, was it garden? What's this place called again? Floroma Meadow. And if I check the tree, nothing is here. No. So I missed it. Which is unfortunate, but I suppose it's no skin off my back losing that uh, one encounter. It's, it's a kind of a pain to get. That's the issue. But let's just go ahead into Route 205. I'm gonna fight you in first, though. How about that? It looks like a, a ranger or something. Camper Jacob. Well, you know, that's not really that. A weasel. That's just pure water. And Tamari is part ground. I think we just put out Sneeze and uh, sneeze on this guy. Oh no, he's level 16. Let's put out Asuka then. Asuka can uh, kill this thing. Oh, Pursuit! That's interesting. So, Fake Out. How much does this do? Half. Oh, it's a crit! Oh my god! And the Scratch is gonna kill you. You're faster than my Asuka. Really? That's interesting. Oh, okay. Buzel is gone. Tamari did not level up. Uh, no. You're not either. Buzel is a kind of a cool Pokemon, but his evolved form looks kind of weird. A float soul. Okay. This is my route. What did I say? 205? Ah, uh, I gotta remember this. Route 205. Okay. Okay. Let's put out, um, hmm. let's put out Peppa. No, I don't want to poison it. Let's just put out Sneeze. No, no, because he has uh, Stun Spore and Poison Powder, just in case this is something important. So, Route 205, 
let's uh, write this down is oh my god holy shit um okay well i have ninkada my tamari i mean who is bug type so let's see 2405 kakuna really all right that's interesting i suppose uh he's part poison isn't he i mean if i do a rock smash he's gonna survive that that's neutral it does nothing he resists that okay what about if i mega drain you he resists that as well okay let's get you in the red to the rock smash come on there we go and let's also stun you with a quick claw nonetheless okay I know this is kind of a quick one, but let's just, uh... Just a normal Pokemon, it's fine. I'm not that excited about this encounter, but hey! We got, effectively, a Beedrill. Oh, come on, really? You broke three, and you got Shed Skin? Hell no, don't do that. Okay. Pokeball, Pokeball, go. Shed Skin, ah, that's right. All right. So... Kakuna's moveset is pretty garbage, as I recall. I mean, he has Twin Needle. But what else? Like, I haven't used a Beedrill since, like, Gen 1. Where I tried out everything. But, okay, we got a female Kakuna, effectively a Beedrill. Bug Poison. Kakuna becomes Bug Flying, right? Not Flying Bug. Yeah, there's no one that's Primary Flying, is it? Um... I guess we just call her Queen, because uh, she evolves into Beedrill, which is a B, Queen B. Wait, is that? Is it? Wait, I gotta Google this. I haven't written Queen ever, so uh, yeah, that's correct. Queen. Uh, okay, welcome to the squad, Queen. All right, that's my Route 205 encounter. And let's go ahead and take a look at Kakuna, just in case. So we know he has, uh, she has. Uh, Shed skin, which is nice, but once she evolves into Beedrill, I don't think she's gonna have that. Just repair, not repair, restore our Pokemon, and let's take a look at Queen. It's not a very original name, but it's the best I could do with a Pokemon that I'm not really sure that I'm gonna use. So, move Pokemon. No item. Uh huh. Docile, that's, that's neutral. Shed skin and just harden. Oh boy, so you don't even have poison sting, which you got as a Weedle. Oh boy. Do I have a rare candy? I'm just asking, because uh, I might want to evolve this into a, a Beedrill, just. Nah, no, I don't think I have one. No. Alright, let's get out of here. So we got a Kakuna. Which is effectively a Beedrill, basically. It's already level 12, and she uh, evolves at level 10. Are you just gonna tell me about the honey, right? Yeah, okay. So, let's uh, put out somebody else here. I'm also kind of scared, because when I fought that commander, Mars, he had a level 17 Electric, so I feel kind of underleveled moving forward here, which is unfortunate. Okay... Let's see what is up here. Okay. I could have caught a Meditite. Really? I would have loved the Meditite. A Medicham is really, really cool. Okay. Well, Bug type. I don't know if that's going to work on you, is it? Bide. Uh, let's just Sand Attack you. And then we can Lead Slife you again. I did no damage. Detect and bide. And he had confusion as well. Alright. Oh, come on, Tamara. You need so much experience to level up. Okay, let's see what this hiker has for us. Come on, hiker. Three Pokemon. What are you rocking? Lilip. That is rock grass is it not but 
ah, you're gonna have like rock throw and shit, and Tamari is part bug. I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a sand attack. Let's see what Lily has here. I'm kind of worried though. Astonished. Ah, that's fine. Lead's life is gonna do what? If you're part grass, as I thought, think are you? Think you are. It should be super effective. Okay. What else do you have? Astonish. Okay. Is that your only move? Acid. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Oh, it it's resisted. So does ground resist poison? Astonish. All right. There we go. Lilith is out of here. I think we should get a lot of experience from this. Or at least level up. Uh-huh. Frostless. Oh, you're gonna have Destiny Bond, aren't you? Well, you're Ice Ghost, so... How do I want to do this? Uh, let's actually put you to sleep. I'm gonna fake you out, and then I'm gonna Hypnosis. Oh no, you're part ghost! What am I talking about? Oh, I'm such an idiot! So I can't fake you out, but I can Hypnosis you. If I can hit you, that is. Okay. Is this gonna hit? Yes, it is. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. I'm gonna swap. Oh, what happened there? What happened there? Uh... What? I don't know what happened to my setup over here. How do I change this? For some reason, they're next to each other. I usually have them like... Dude, uh, what? How do I change this? Oh, god damn it. View layers? No. View. Maintain... Horizontal vertical. There we go! For some reason, it went, uh... What's it called again? It went horizontal, and then everything fucked up. I apologize, but, uh... That was not my plan. Okay, you're asleep. I was able to fix it, so that's fine. Maybe I can edit it out, if I can figure it out how to. I think I'll just Dragon Rage you, and hope you don't wake up. Fast asleep. Okay, if I do Dragon Rage, she's asleep. Okay, beautiful. Just one-shot her, please. Don't Destiny Bond me, you bitch. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah. Frost lasses are kind of scary, in my opinion. Asuka grew to level 15. That's very nice. And Misery is level 15. I don't remember what level Gabite uh, Gibble evolves into Gabite. Takedown. Isn't that like 80% hit rate? 85. But it's very, very powerful. So this is 35 and 95. This is 90 and 85. So I'm losing 10% accuracy for like more than double the power. Yeah, I'll get rid of Tackle and we'll take Takedown. But, you know, I have Dragon Rage. So... Feebas. That's pure water. That's, yeah. Um, I think we can just put out Asuka again. Let's try to level her up a bit. Feebas. Okay, just fake out. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, Feebas. Okay. You scared me, Hiker. You kinda scared me. Soul Dew. What the fuck is that? Oh, Ladios and Ladias. Ugh. Well, okay. I suppose that's fine. Don't I have moves on everybody? Except for Gamabunta. He does not have anything. Uh... Hmm. Splash Palate. Yeah, let's give this to Gamabunta then. Boost his water attacks. Okay, let's move on. Let's see. What do you have, lady? Okay. Let's see. You have one Pokemon. Ivysaur. That's perfect for Tamari. I'm just gonna sand attack you. 
combined with, okay? You only have three Leech Slash left. It does not enough damage. Can I do an Ether? Do I have an Ether? No. I have X Attack. Okay, so I'm just gonna have to scratch you to death. How much does that do? Uh, no, poison powder. No, 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 we're out of here. We're out of here. So, grass type. Um, I guess we just put out Asuka and uh, beat you up. Leech seed. Oh, uh, really? Take out. Let's put you to sleep. There we go. And swap out again then. I can Bunta. No, that's not gonna work. Do we just put out Misery again and then wipe this guy out? Yeah. Take down. No! Dragon Rage! Dragon Rage! I like this animation. One shot. Mostly. I think at this level, people are going to have more than 40 health. Then this is fine. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, use an antidote. Actually, wait. Isn't there like a lady that's going to heal us up up there? That's fine. I can buy more antidotes later. Okay, what is over here? There's one dude moving over here. Let's try to battle everything on the way north. And hopefully it's gonna be fun fights. One Pokemon, what do you have? Staravia. That's very scary for my uh, bug type there. Um, what do I do? I can't put out Sneeze. What is your moveset again? I suppose we can put out Peppa. See how it goes. Peppa's gonna level up from this. A wing attack. Yeah, you're gonna heal up, it's fine. Poison gas? Failed. Double team. Oh, don't do this to me. Okay, we got the poison on. So that's fine. Eventually you are gonna die from the poison. Let's just smoke screen you back then. How about that? Growl. Scratch. Oh, we hit! Nice. Okay, so we got the poison gas off, which means that she's just gonna die. That's the Arabia. That's fucked. And we got level 16 on Peppa. And no new moves. Alright, that's disappointing. Oh, we're gonna wanna go down there, though. For items and such. Hello. <gasps> we got some berries there as well. Two Pokemon, Picnicker, Sienna, Starling. Well, I could maybe take you on as Tamari, but I don't really want to risk that. Let's just put up Peppa again and try to get the poison gas off again. There we go. You have wing attack as level 12, Starling? Scratch, wing attack. Scratch? Wow, oh, I could have just scratched you to death right from the start. There was no reason to poison you. Gulpin, that's poison. We don't have a ground attack that I can think of. And we don't have a psychic type. But if I put out... If I keep Peppa in, then he cannot poison me. I can't poison him either. But let's smoke screen. Just to see what he's going to do. If he yawns me... Do they have, oh, he have yawn. I knew you had yawn. Bastard. Let's swap to Asuka then. Oh, come on! I'll just keep swapping out then. Peppa, get out there. What the, Is that the only move you know? I gotta, I gotta keep swapping then. <laughs> oh, there we go. Pounds. Okay. Smoke screen. How do you keep hitting that? You have smoke screen on you. There we go. Okay, there we go. That was just annoying. Holy sh... Yeah, that was annoying. All right. Patcha Berry. Thank you. And... Oran Berry. Beautiful. What is this gonna be? Something good? Something good? Power Herb. Okay. It's not really promising, I think. 
It allows the immediate use of a move that char charges on the first turn. So you can use Solar Beam instantly. So if you don't have a Sunlight and you want to do a Solar Beam, but you don't want to wait the first turn, you can use that. Okay, that's interesting. Hello! What are you gonna have for me, buddy? Please, nothing crazy. One Pokemon, okay. Luxio. Level 14 Luxio. I'm part ground, so that's good. Let's sand attack you. Charge. It doesn't matter, I'm ground. Scratch. 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 <laughs> uh, one sand attack and then scratch you to death. From a from an Ninkada. You must feel so embarrassed, man. Okay. There's another one. Ooh, dramatic music. Yeah. So it's gonna be a battling girl, right? One Pokemon. Everybody has like one Pokemon. Shellos. Is that water ground or just water? Let's sand attack you. Mud sport that weakens electricity. But you're part ground, aren't you? I think I can just put out Sneeze and then body you. Water Pulse. Glad I swapped. No confusion on the Water Pulse. What is this gonna do to you? I think this is- I think this is quite effective. Ooh, you still survived. Well, I think Shellos is quite beefy, just in general, so maybe that's why he survived. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, what do you have over here? Premier Ball! Eh, it's not a Master Ball. Alright. I think, yeah, that's the house you can heal up for free. So that's nice. Picnicker Karina. A Zan Goose. Okay. That's just the normal type, so I think I'll just Sand Attack you. Ooh, Swords Dance! That's scary as fuck! Sand attack you again then. No, he's setting up on me. Crap, I'm gonna. Let's get out sneeze and try to paralyze him. Quick attack. What the fuck is that? Ah. I gotta heal. I gotta heal. Two sword dances. You are a madman. I have, I have two sand attacks on you. Don't do anything crazy. Quick attack. You still hit me! God, I don't want to heal. If you get a crit, I'm dead. Is this my only option? I think it is. I need to get a uh, stun spore off. I need you to miss a quick attack, please. Don't crit me. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, now, I need you to hit this stun spore. Oh, he hits me. Okay. You miss! God damn it! Okay, we gotta heal again. Ah, oh, this is not good. This is so fucking scary! Why do you keep hitting these? Okay, I'm gonna use my hyper potion. A super potion, sorry, not hyper. Because we're dropping kind of low here. The potions are not doing it. I don't want to waste all of this on you. Stop hitting me! Look at that, fucking damage. Am I just stuck like this in an endless loop of super potions? I need you to miss and I need to hit my stun spore. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay. Okay. Stun Spore. Quick attack! A quick claw popped. There we go. We got the Stun Spore off. Nice. So we got two sand attacks and now Zangoose is stunned. Leer. Okay. I can just do rock smashes. You're weak. You're normal type, aren't you? Are you kidding me? And we got the defense drop. So this is a two hit KO. I wasted so many potions on you. I could have two-shotted you. And we got double par paralysis. Yeah, paralysis. Yeah. 
Oh my god, I wasted so much money on that fight. I feel like an idiot. Ah, oh, that's so bad. Thank you. Picnic or Karina, you can go fuck yourself. Costing me all this money. So, is there anything down here? There's an item. Elixir. That's not bad, if you need it. But I think we can heal up for free over here. Yeah, I know, I know, don't go, go away. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you, lady, for letting me crash in your house with one bed. That's weird. So, is this a fighter? No, 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 okay. So, before we get into Eternal Forest, I think I'm gonna go ahead and save over here. So, we had a very scary encounter with a Zangus, which we survived. We spent like four potions and two super potions on that, which was kind of overkill, I think. But it's fine. You know what? It's absolutely fine. But let's go ahead and save here. But in the next episode, we're going to go through Eternal Forest. And as I recall, there's like an escort mission thing in there, which might fuck up our encounter. I don't know how we're going to do that, but let's just see how it goes. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. But until then, see ya. And thanks for watching.